Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video you join me for another Forzathon guide. Now this is where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one, American Automakers, wants you to use either the 2016 Dodge Viper ACR or the 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. Now as some of you are aware, this is just a quick note, a lot of these Forzathons are repeats from the past. Now the last time we had this exact Forzathon there was a bit of a glitch and a bit of a problem when it came to picking one of these two cars that had come straight from your personal garage so as soon as you took it out the first challenge wouldn't complete now the only way to get past this glitch was to purchase a new one from the auto show and then the first challenge will complete so that's just a bit of a heads up if you are having this sort of problem but hopefully it doesn't occur this time but if it does just buy a new one from the auto show and you should be fine now for this challenge i went with my corvette z06 but you can use whichever it really doesn't matter I have got a tune for this as well called Ultimate Z06 and the share code for this is 162158007 and hopefully that should help you out with some of the challenges. Now the first challenge is really really easy and it just wants you to win 5 drag strip events so this shouldn't take too long maybe 5 minutes maximum. Now I just filtered my drag strip events but you don't really have to because at the end of the day I just went for the Horizon Festival drag strip. The reason for it is it's really really short and it's nice and conveniently placed when you come out of the Horizon Festival. You can do this on whatever difficulty you want and I'd recommend just setting up a standard event. You don't need any special blueprint or anything because no matter what you're just going to walk all over the competition. So the standard modern muscle car sort of challenge, hop right in, do it five times and that's the first challenge complete. Now the next one just wants you to win three street scene events. So I always use the bathroom gate and the reason for that is because I know the route quite well so it gives me a bit of an advantage but you can use whichever race you want. You can do three different races or the same one three times. As long as you win then you'll complete this Falls of Thunder challenge. Now like I said you can do this one as well on whatever difficulty you want because it's not a festival playlist event you can do it on sort of easy or expert it really doesn't matter as long as you win then that's the only thing that sort of affects the outcome of this challenge. So you have to win three of these races and like I said you do it on whatever difficulty you want but it does always help to be in a tuned version of whichever car you pick whether it's a Dodge or the Corvette because it will help you against the AI as as we all well, well know, to be honest, when it comes to street scenes, they're never in easy cars to beat. So it always helps to have a tune. So all you've got to do there is win three of those. Now the final challenge, which wants you to earn 500,000 skill score. Now this may sound like a bit of a lengthy one, but it's actually really not. It's quite a simple challenge and shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Now, first of all, what I recommend doing, it really doesn't matter which car you go for, is buying out some of the perks for the car. Now this will always give you a boost in certain skills, whether it's 10% or 300% for a drift tap. It doesn't matter, but it always helps. Then I recommend heading over to the Greendale Airstrip, which is where I always do these challenges. The reason is it's a massive open space. There's tons of stuff you can do and smash into, and it just makes challenges like this go a lot easier and a lot quicker, to be honest. Now, like I said, all you wanna do around here is just sort of muck about, get a load of drifts in, start knocking into stuff, do some jumps and whatever else. There's lots of little smashables as well, such as bins, which will get you an extra sort of uh, skill score. So instead of 100 for a wreckage skill, you'll get about 1,000 for something, because it will be like a dustman skill. So something like that is really, really simple. Now to complete this challenge, you don't have to do it in one sitting like I'm doing here. You can do it over the course of a week or a weekend, whatever the case. I just did it in one sitting and I think the overall recording time for this was about seven minutes. So it's a really, really nice and easy challenge to complete. And like I said, it doesn't matter which car you go for, it shouldn't take too long. I've just sped the footage up a bit here to save a bit of time. So really, if you've got a times five multiplier, you wanna hit 100,000 skill score, or if you get a skill song, which I'm not gonna be playing here due to obviously copyright issues, then all you need is 50,000 points times by the 10 multiplier. So that'll take even less time. So it's a really, really easy challenge and it doesn't take as long as you might think. Now, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did and you're new to the channel, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe. And if it helped you out, don't forget to drop a like as well. Apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best, make sure you take care and stay safe.